Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I'm going to do a knife vid, but before I do that, oops, turn that the wrong way. Look at this crap. It's snowing again. <laughs> Gotta love it. Just never want to stop snowing around here. Ah, well. <laughs> yeah. Anywho. Make sure the port's cold. See my elaborate lock system. One. Two. <laughs> And three. All right. Messy workbench. All right. Here's the subject for today. Maybe two today. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, CRKT M16 knives running out of ideas so I went through the knife drawer <laughs> so uh, pretty decent knives for me so far and well were I'm not gonna say so far they were don't carry them anymore but this one is the M1613Z this was my first one my first CRKT I bought it when I quit play carrying my CQC7 and uh, seemed, you know, I think I, I don't even know where I got it. Maybe Walmart. Man, it's beaten dirty. <laughs> I don't know if it shows, but yeah, I carried this around pretty much exclusively for a couple of years. Got its little lock lock locks mechanism, as they call it. Um, this is the Zytel handle scales, pretty decent thickness liners. Um, if I recall, OS 8 steel. And this is back when this was popular. But you know, you still see it on a lot of knives. Um, I thought they got in the way pretty bad. I, I hated the serrations, but there they were. Here you go, Kaisen Design M1613Z patent number, and a little Taiwan down there. <laughs> Somewhere I lost a lost a clip. Now here they have the um, the locks thing, which puts your little a little thing there in front of the liner lock never used it um, pretty comfortable knife it wasn't the best EDC shape but I didn't know any better at the time so uh, it held an edge okay it wasn't the best I don't know if they're any different nowadays this is an older one so but uh Used the crap out of it for, like I said, a couple of years. I used it for everything out in the woods, you name it. I did it with it. And it's still pretty. I can feel just the tiniest, tiniest play side to side. And I mean tiny. Nothing. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh. Slight, slight bit of up and down. I can hear a little ticking. Well, I did beat the crap out of it, so. <laughs> Amazingly enough, I can still flip it fairly decently. It wasn't really a great flipper, but over the years it got better. Probably better now than it ever was. <laughs> but a uh, pretty cool knife. Um, 
thumb studs definitely not really thumb studs more of a blade stop they don't I was gonna say they don't function well as a thumb stud but I actually did that alright uh, but not not a bad knife I don't know if this cuts I haven't used it in years but uh, not bad at all all right, it's pretty good. I guess at least I kept it sharp. <laughs> Back to head. Like my little head. Put a little spiky on top. I think this was an air freshener. I don't know what it's made out of, but it's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, that was the uh, spear point. M1613Z. Um, oh, it worked out great for me. Like I said, the only thing I ever had problems with is the damn serrations. Especially out in the woods, I'd go out to cut certain little pieces of wood and I'd end up on the serrations where I'd need a smooth edge and it would kind of be a pain in the butt. But other than that, great knife. Um, got a lot of patina in the holes there. It looks like a little bit of rusting. From being in the pocket and uh, here we have the m16 10 kz this knife um, got a little pocket time very little pocket time and it didn't really get used and this one doesn't flip as easily okay not too bad got to reach around the stand uh, Tripod, yeah, that's it. Uh, serrations in this one are a little different, and I don't like them. They're too toothy. They're going to catch on stuff. They're not pleasant. Uh, tanto blade shape, which is... This one, I kind of like the shape. I like the drop down to it. Decent. Again, another Zytel handled one. Uh... Carson design, same same type of stuff. Relatively sharp, I think. I never sharpened this, so yeah, okay. Like I said, I didn't sharpen it, but I didn't really use it either. <clears throat> um, perfect EDC size, this one here. You can see the size comparison; it's a bit smaller, easier to carry. Um, I wish it was a plain edge. I'd probably carry it if it were. Uh, this one has the auto locks the nemesis of many people <laughs> I like the manual one better um, a lot of people they were like oh how do I close it with the thing one hand I just flip it with one hand and close it no big deal some people had trouble closing it one handed I think I did a video about that a long long time ago but it's not a big deal just pull it back with the index and thumb it over Thumb stud works all right. Also, as I recall, these were us eight. And whoa, is that like the worst centering ever? Holy shit! Look at that. That is loose. All right. Let's see. There's gonna be a screwdriver around here. Here we go. Stanley? Stanley somewhere, yep. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Wow, was that loose? Okay. That feels better. Oh, no, I can't flip it. Oh boy. Well, <clears throat> all right, no matter, I'd rather not have the blade play. That was kind of crazy loose. Let's see, I barely, I didn't even really tighten that, I just. 
setting there, it's really loose. So I just snugged it slightly. Oh, now it's really tight. Okay, okay. Sensitive. Oh, well, anyway. Yeah, the CRKTs. Um, this one, I don't know if they make make them plain edge. If they did, I would recommend it for an EDC. Not hard use, though. This one has a... Um, yeah, I know it's got the auto locks and all that. I don't know how I feel about those, but it says a pretty thin lock. And it doesn't seem to really flex if I push on it, but... I don't know. Maybe if I lube this up a little bit. I know the big one I lubed up regularly this since I never really used it much. I think I may even give this away sometime. Uh, anyway, there they are. Two M16 knives by CRKT. Um, I give this one a good rating. I liked it. Wish it didn't have serrations, but serrations weren't too bad. This one, I hate the serrations. Um, but, you know, the prices aren't bad. And this one was a very solid knife. So, um, they're pretty good. Pretty good. Not my favorite, but not too bad. If you like the style, like I said, I don't think either of them are ideal EDC blade shapes. But it served me well for, you know, the big one served me well for several years. So, I got my money worth out of it. Anyway, have a great one, guys. See you soon, and I'll be back with another CRKT vid.